What's going on YouTube OCD for EDC here and what I got for your face balls today <clears throat> We are going to be opening up a few packages. So I've got a couple different things here to open up I'm not sure exactly what's in a couple of these things and one of the boxes is quite large Let me flip it around You can see the dimensions right there We're gonna see what we got going inside all of these packages and hopefully there's some cool stuff We've got an envelope here not sure exactly what's in this envelope. Let's check it out. Okay. All right. So we'll leave that for a moment. Let me see what the card says here. All right. We got some stickers and stuff. And it says OCD for EDC. Hoping the joyful light of Christmas will shine on you all season. Merry Christmas, SM Avery Doomsday Scouts. Nice. That is super cool. Thank you so much for the uh, Christmas card there. That is awesome. And, oh, we got some peanuts uh, band-aids. That is wonderful. Check this out. We got some Doomsday Scout stickers. These things are really cool. Some holographic. We got kind of like a... Yeah, it's like a demonic bullhead. Those are those are really, really cool stickers. Hopefully you guys, the light's doing it justice because they are super cool. So we got a few of those, Doomsday Scouts, and we got some Band-Aids. Can't ever have enough Band-Aids. And we got something else in here. Let's check this out. Let's see what it is. All right, what do we have in this little cart? Oh, look at this, a little pocket tool. We've got a uh, little sharpened edge here on a couple of places. We've got a little saw. We've got a little wrench, a little uh, scaled ruler, a flat blade screwdriver. It's got all sorts of functions going on there. It tells you everything that's on there. A little multi-purpose pocket survival tool. Well, thank you so much for sending this stuff along. This is really, really cool. Doomsday Scout. Uh, thank you so much for the Christmas card and the little pocket tool. That is awesome. I'm gonna use this little pair of three here just because it's been used a ton already. Let's get up in this package and see what we're working with. I think I might know what's in this box because I think this is something that I ordered. All right, there we go. There's one, and I think that is it. And we got a piece of paper in there. Oh, looks like there's some other stuff down in there as well. Let's see, are you going to heaven? Read this book uh, booklet to know for sure. Salvation, plain and simple. Dr. Curtis Houston. Uh, so we've got a little uh, words of wisdom here, a little book inside the package. There you go. Tis the season for that kind of stuff. And then we got this box right here. You guys know the deal. This is a Spyderco box. And let's see what, oh, we also got a pen in the box. And this is from Sooner State Night. Uh, very cool loving the pen but you guys have already seen because I have a few of these at this point uh, which is super cool let's uh, just get this stuff out of the way let's get on to the knife and this is the infamous CPM 15 V Manix 2 from Spider Co. The Sean Houston Big Brown Bear Manix 2. Can't go wrong with that. These things are still selling out immediately with every single drop. They are extremely difficult to get your hands on. And, you know, I've been playing the game, trying to get as many of them as I can. Uh, most dealers limit them to just one per person. So I have tried to uh, pick up a handful of them and 
Certainly, I have got a few of them, but I've also uh, missed several as well. Like I said, not easy to get your hands on. All right, let's move some of this stuff out of the way. We'll set that one right there for right now. And next up, we have this big package. Now, this one, let me look here real quick. Yes, this one is coming by way of my good friends over at Northwest Knives. This is the latest, the greatest package coming from the Spider Co. Collector Club. Sorry about my voice, guys. I've been a little bit under the weather. I am on the mend. I am feeling better now. Uh, holy cow. We got all kinds of stuff going on in here. Okay, so we got a Benchmade Base Camp koozie. So that is super cool. Oh. <laughs> they said all kinds of stuff along. So we got a Benchmade bottle opener here. Northwest Knives. Apparently, you can pick these up there for 15 bucks. Um, this is like, you know, bartender style uh, uh, bottle opener, which is very, very cool. Little Northwest Knives sticker there. We got some pink. Oh, snap. Look at this. We've got a super sweet Benchmade hat. That's super cool. So we've got some Benchmade stuff along with some... A whole bunch of Spyderco stuff. Another Northwest Knives sticker. And we've got this box. And this one. And this one. What the heck? And I got this box too. What is going on here? We got all kinds of stuff happening here. I don't even know what all's happening here. He threw Benchmades in the box. Let's set the Benchmade off to the side for a moment. This is like the most epic unboxing ever from Northwest Knives. If you guys haven't already, go check out Northwest Knives. My boy Aaron over there, just an awesome guy. They do amazing, uh, an amazing job. They got an awesome store. If you ever are in the Boise, Idaho area, I highly, highly suggest stopping in their actual store because it is amazing. Uh, so he definitely sent some swag we will absolutely be giving some of the, some of this stuff away so you guys can enjoy on all of the things that are coming our way here. Okay, now we've got all sorts of spider co's here. And let's just uh, see what we're working with here. I'm going to start with this one. All right. Let's set that one off. Let's just start with this one. I have no idea what any of these are, but let's just get into it and see what we're dealing with. All right, so this one is most certainly going to be in K390 just because of the FRN color. Uh, what model is this? This is the Indella. Okay, Indella fully serrated K390. Really great knife. This is, you know, a full-size knife for sure. It's a, a little bit bigger uh, than the uh, Delica and a little bit smaller than the Endura. So the Endella, definitely a good one. Check that thing out. I'm going to go through these pretty quickly here. I didn't expect this many knives in this box. So let's see what else we got. Okay. Oh, uh-oh. Here we've got an exclusive Para 3 from somebody this is going to be a collector club okay so this was a dlt trading exclusive uh this one is in cpm 20 cv it looks like with tan tan g10 scales blacked out clip hardware everything otherwise looks to be just standard uh pair of three fair CPM 20 CV blade steel blade centering is spot on man you just can't go wrong with a good pair of three that is definitely a good one for sure cool colorway yeah awesome awesome knife right there okay let's get 
like I said, these are going to come rapid fire because we have way too many to deal with here. All right, next up, this looks to be a Delica. This is a Delica 4. Let's open it up. Uh-oh. This is a Blade HQ exclusive, I'm sure, because it's a Delica 4 in M4. I think I would say this is the first time they've ever done M4 in a Delica. So you can't go wrong with that. That thing is, oh, well, and look at the action on it. Come on, guys. Honestly, does anybody do a backlock better? Especially what is like ultimately a budget backlock. Look at the blade centering. Come on. Look at, just, just look at it. Would you look at it? How cool is that? It just falls right down. One-handed operation. Boom. M4. Uncoated M4. Mint green. FRN. Can't go wrong with the Delica. She's a beaut. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome knife. Okay. This one. This box feels heavy. What do we got? What do we got in here? What is this thing? This is a big one. What, what do we have going all right, so right off the bat, we got a back lock. Is this a stretch 2XL? I think I think that's might might be what we're looking at here. And by God, it is. Stretch 2XL. Oh yeah. Blade centering. Absolutely perfect. Stretch 2XL. Let's see the blade steel. <sighs> Talk to Teddy Bear. Come on now. Stretch 2 XL in CPM crew wear. Oh, that thing is good. Got a little bit of jimping up here on this half choil, which feels beautiful. Man, this, this thing is super bitchin'. Oh. Oh, yeah. This one here, um, Seiki City Japan Knife G10 Half Choil Crew Wear Stretch 2 XL. That thing is an absolute beast of a knife. Four way positionable pocket clip. Doesn't get any better than that, right? Wow. Really, really digging that thing for sure. All right. Let me get some of the shrapnel off of here. Okay. Next up. Don't know what we've got here, but it appears to be Damascus. Uh-oh. All right. So this looks like pack of wood. Is this going to be pack of wood? I think it is. All right. Let's open her up. Wow. All right, so this is DPS 15 and VG 10 Damascus. I don't know if I'll be able to show that off or not. If you'll be able to see it here. You know what? Let me do it this way. I'm pretty sure it said DPS 15, but I'm going to have to do a little searching and looking on that because I'm not, that's a steel I'm not familiar with, but let's, let's uh, t check it out here. So this is a Knife Center exclusive, so you can go ahead and uh, pause right there. But it says, expertly crafted from DPS-15 Damascus. It consists of VG-10 stainless steel core flanked by two pieces of 15-layer Damascus. The resulting 31-layer forge-welded construction is highlighted by the blade's full flat grind, which reveals the dramatic contrast between the layers and offers exceptional edge geometry for low friction cutting performance. And it is pack of wood. All right, this thing is absolutely beautiful. So that is an Endura. So here's the Endura. Here is the Indela. And here is the Delica. So there you get to see the sizes of all three of them. And then on top of that, You've got the Stretch 2 XL, which is even bigger yet. Let's line up all the pivots, just like so. 
And then, of course, we've got some 15V Manix love in the house. And to top it all off, a pair of three in 20 CV. And then, obviously, we have some kind of a fixed blade here. But let's see what we're dealing with on the fixed blade. We got a mule team. We have a mule team. All right, let's see which mule team it is. All right, so this one is mule team. I think this was number 38, and this is M398. M398 mule team. So there you go. That's the unboxing for the Spider Coast. But wait, there's more. I had no idea this was coming. Like the Benchmade Base Camp and the Northwest Knives stickers and the uh, bottle opener and the hat. I had no idea any of that stuff was coming. We also have a Benchmade Black Class box. Now, I know what it says on the box. I'm going to assume that's what's in here just because it's coming from Aaron at Northwest Knives. Let's check it out. All right, this might be one of the coolest unboxings I've ever done. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. I, I, I went to open it up and I noticed that there was a sticker that was cut right here. And I'm thinking to myself, huh, someone's already opened this one. And then I did this. And I'm pretty confident that I don't remember ever Benchmade offering an autocrat that looked anything like that. So let's get this out of here and take a look. Now, I had no idea that this was coming. But let's... So it, it came in just your average Benchmade deal here. But let's let's take it nice and slow. Let's open it this way. <laughs> Look at this. Are you kidding me? So this is a, is this a Christmas edition? Cause okay. All right. So we've got Santa and his sleigh, right? And then we have Santa shooting a rifle. This is so cool. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so good. Aaron, Man, this thing is so freaking cool. All right, I got to fire the blade. Oh, come on. Look at how cool that thing looks. The red on here is just absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you guys watched the first video I did with uh, Aaron, uh, or Northwest Knives, uh, sending me the group of Spyderco knives, uh, I told you guys that he customizes some Spyderco stuff. This thing is just absolutely epic. And, wow, that is so cool. The Autocrat's such a cool knife anyway. Um, and, uh, that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to talk to Aaron to find out uh, what the status is on the Benchmade Autocrat. I'm going to assume that this is a colorway that he did a few of as like a special edition. I don't know that for sure. So, but if you guys want to check him out, go to northwestknives.com. Go and check it out. I know he does some kind of special one-off. You know, he'll do like five to ten pieces of a few Benchmade models or maybe a few Spyderco models. And he's got like a local customizer that he works with uh, in the Boise, Idaho area. And they'll do, you know, various things. And so, man, that thing is so freaking cool. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm so pumped to check that out. And this one definitely is double-sided. And the Autocrat, what are they? Oh, S30V uh, blade steel. That's gorgeous. Okay, well, Aaron, thank you so much for sending these extra things along. Uh, but before this video ends up being an hour and a half long, we need to uh, get right into it and start checking out what the edges are like on these things. So let's get that uh, ball rolling here quick. Uh, what we're looking for here is anything under 200 is a really nice edge right out of the box. This doesn't really mean anything. It's just for fun. So nobody gets uh, 
all worked up over it. Uh, let's see, I don't even remember. Oh, I think I did. You know what? We're going to leave the K390 for last. Let's do the fixed blade. We're going to do the M398 first. All right, here we go. Okay, 140 for the M398. Mule team number 38. I think it was 38. Could have been 39. Let's see if this these this one here is any better than the first two of these that I opened up cuz they were they were just okay. Nothing to write home about, but let's check this one. Okay. Slightly better. I think the the one was 125 that I uh, did last time. So Slightly better with the 115. Let's check out the M4 Delica. Seiki City, Japan. Do an M4. Super cool. Okay. 120 on the Delica. Check out the crew wear on the Stretch 2 XL. This thing's just an absolutely gorgeous knife. All right, there it is. Let's move the mule out of the way because we got our first sub hundo of the day there with the uh, Crewwear XL Stretch 2. Next up, the DLT exclusive 20CV Para 3, Golden Colorado. Here we go. Okay, 115. Not a bad result. All of these have been solid. None of them have been bad, so that part's great. Next up, we've got the pack of wood. Uh, DPS 15 and VG10 Damascus, 31 layer Damascus from Seiki City, Japan, Endura. <whistles> nice. That's what I'm talking about. Getting back down into that 80 region. So we've got these two are both sub-hundo with the Damascus. Now, generally speaking, Spyderco's serrations are generally no joke. And historically, the K390 serrations have been no joke. Fully serrated, we'll, we'll shoot for like, let's shoot for this one. Third big serration back. All right, here we go. <laughs> that's what i'm talking about right there a 35 guys 35 now i'm being totally honest with you here when i tell you that i don't i've never seen another company that gets a better chisel grind on serrations than spider co does i'm not sure exactly how they finish the backside, but it gets things down to a razor's edge so 35 on a serration that is vicious vicious sharp that's amazing we've got one more to deal with here and that is the only non spider co knife that we open arguably the coolest i mean who doesn't want a santa claus autocrat let's be honest this thing is amazing s30v let's see where what we're dealing with here Okay, <laughs> well, the uh, the autocrat needs a little bit of stropping. Um, it's still a sharp knife, 230. You know, it's still going to cut paper just fine and all that sort of stuff, but could use a little bit of stropping. But we're going to forgive it for that because it is just so damn cool. I mean, let's be honest, guys. Look at how cool this thing is. All right, let me get this out of the way. Just to recap, we had the 15V Manix 2. The crew wear stretch two or, or uh, yeah, stretch two XL. We had the Endura in Packawood and Damascus. We had the DLT exclusive 
TNG 10 black CV, uh, CPM 20 CV blade steel. We had the FRN with K390 serrated in Della. We had the M4 Blade HQ exclusive Delica. We had the either Mule Team 38 or 39 M398 right there. And then we also had the amazing, absolutely gorgeous, sent by Northwest Knives Autocrat, Benchmade with some super cool customization on it for Christmas. That thing is an absolute beauty. Uh, and then on top of it, we had stuff like this. How cool is this? We got a little Benchmade bottle opener. And we've got some Northwest Knives stickers. And a Benchmade Base Camp koozie plus the Benchmade hat. Guys, go check out Northwest Knives. I can't say enough about them. They're one of my favorite shops of all time. You guys know, sadly, Omaha Knife had to close down. That just happened to be the closest shop to me. But Northwest Knives, you guys know I travel all the time. I stop by tons of knife shops. Northwest Knives, by far and away, my favorite place to go and check in on. Uh, they always have awesome stuff there, and the people are just phenomenal. They really are. So, <clears throat> and then we got the pocket tool from Doomsday Scouts, along with some Band-Aids and some really awesome stickers and a super, super cool holiday card. So thanks so much, guys. This is way too much stuff here to unbox. This is more than I expected. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. Super cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm out of here. Peace.